Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you a very boring game played between Arian Tarry and Magnus Carlsen. This is a game played for the seventh round of Norway chess. It is called Norway Chess, because it's played in Norway, very creative. Arian Tarry has the white pieces and the game starts with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, knight to f6, the four knights game, very creative. White plays d4, e takes d4, the scotch variation accepted, knight takes d4, bishop to b4, pinning the knight and threatening to win the e-pawn, white responds with knight takes c6 check. And here black has three choices, b takes c6, d takes c6 and bishop takes c3 check, and white chooses. Correct, b takes c6 is the best move, I'm really proud. If bishop takes c3 check, and b takes c3, white's bishops will dominate the board, so white is much better. If d takes c6, then queen takes d8 check, king takes d8, bishop to d2, and if black tries to be smart, by playing bishop takes c3, black won't win the e4 pawn because after bishop takes c3, a knight takes e4, the g7 pawn will be hanging. So white is much better. Back to the game, white plays bishop to d3, defending the pawn. d5, bishop to d2, if black plays bishop takes c3, bishop takes c3, d takes c4, and after bishop to c4, even though black is up a pawn, the bishop pair is more than enough compensation, and white would be better. So black castles short, white also castles short, rook to b8, putting the rook on the open file, rook to e1, rook to e8, putting more pressure on the pawn, h3, for no reason. Black now plays this dubious move, bishop to e6, best would be, d takes e4, bishop takes e4, bishop takes h3, g takes e3, bishop takes c3, bishop takes h7 check, king takes h7, rook takes e8, queen takes c8, bishop takes c3, and black is slightly better. But if instead of bishop takes h3, black plays, bishop takes c3, followed by bishop takes c3, queen takes d1, rook from, a, takes d1, knight takes on e4, black won a piece, right? No. After rook takes e4 the black's rook can't take on e4 because of checkmate and white is much better. And if knight takes e4 first, just queen takes d8, rook takes d8, rook takes e4, this position is much better for white. Back to the game, after the dubious bishop e6 move, white plays b3, black responds with knight to d7, followed by e takes d5, c takes d5, queen to f3, another dubious move, white should have played, knight to b5, bishop takes d2, queen takes d2, knight to c5, knight to d4 and white is better. Why? Because I'm stockfish, you just have to believe in me. None of this happened and after the queen to f3 move, black played, knight to c5, followed by rook to e2, c6, rook from, a, to e1, doubling on the e-file, g6, humans fear back rank checkmate for no reason, knight to b1, yes, knight can move backwards, good move. Bishop takes d2, knight takes d2, queen to g5, c3. c3 is an okay move, but I would have gone for g4, claiming that after h5, queen to g3, h takes g4, knight f3, queen to f6 and, h takes g4, white would be better. Continuing with the game, black plays bishop to d7, followed by b4, asking black if he wants to trade this good knight for this ridiculous bishop, rook takes e2 first, rook takes e2, knight goes back to e6, 
Good. White plays g3, avoiding knight to f4, black's queen goes to d8, basically telling white that he wants to play a5, white ignores it and plays h4, followed by a5, a3, a, takes before, a, takes before, rook k8, knight to b3, rook to a3, attacking the knight, bishop to c2, defending, king to g7, rook to e3, queen to f6, asking white if he wants to trade queens, white refuses, thank god, black plays h5, avoiding h5 for white, rook to f3, attacking the queen, queen e5, rook to e3, queen to f6, and players repeated moves and agreed to a boring draw. I, however, would never agree to draw in a position like this, ha ha ha. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel and hit the like button, and for any game suggestion just put it in the comments, and I might analyze it. Or not. See you later.